Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, where we are here in a very, uh, very musicless Perdita. Uh, I can't, uh, I, I get that it's supposed to be like this pe peaceful, uh, like remote town, village in the mountains somewhere, but man, you think they would have some sort of musical instrument up here uh, that they could play some music or something like that. Uh, anyway, we are here, uh, because last episode, uh, we cleared out a ton of our bounty hunts and, uh, errands. We only have two errands, uh, one is the Forest Alchemist, which I've been putting off forever, because, uh, I don't have the ingredients to craft the Royal Spear, and then the other one, we have, uh, Derwin, uh, who has some additional research for us. Uh, I figured I'd at least talk to him. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not, I'm not really thinking that I'll do this errand uh, and collect whatever creatures that he wants for quite a while. Uh, I just wanted to talk to him and get it off my plate and then get on with the main story mission, mission, mission line, mission line, storyline. Uh, anyway, oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again. Yeah, uh, of course I predicted you would be here before long. Gee, it's Derwin. Shocker. Oh, it's you again. How come you're always waiting for us wherever we go? Because I want you to assist me with my critically important research, of course. So I guess that means you want us to find some more creatures for you, huh? I applaud your pers... Pers... Wait, oh my gosh. Why can't I read that word? Pers... Per... Whatever. Skip it. Move on. Now we will... Assist science and cooperate with me. Man, I must be tired. Purse, bis, ca uh, Cassidy. All right, whatever. Um, uh, yep, all right. Fair enough. I'm moving on. Uh, and cooperate with me. I agree to undertake this task. Yes. Science thanks you. Sai, what kind of creatures is he going to send us running off after this time then? Lately, I've been conducting highly stimulating research into the process of metamorphosis, uh, but there are some creatures whose ad advanced forms I have yet to observe. There are three specimens I would very much like you to bring me. The first specimen uh, specimen of interest is a Wispula, uh, the metamorphic successor of a ghostly creature known to haunt the Tombstone Trail. Oh, so he's asking for, like, Tombstone Trail creatures wispula i would also like you uh, like to see at uh, oh my gosh i would also like to see at first hand a flashy or what am i wow i cannot read tonight oh my gosh all right let me try this again i would also like to see at first hand a flash fry a species produced through the metamorphosis of a creature notable for carrying a pair of red hot stones oh that's from like okay I think I know what that one is. Finally, I wish to examine a curiosi uh, curiously musical creature known as a erm um, trumpy mumble. I am sure you know the species in question, and no, I shall not repeat myself. Gee, this doesn't sound like it's going to be easy. Little is known about these creatures, even amongst the familiar logical fraternity. As such, you're on your own. Still, with a combination of dedication and animal cunning, it is statistically likely that you will find them eventually. Oh, and it goes without saying that it will not suffice simply to stash these specimens in the familiar in a familiar retreat. No, you must bring all th uh, three of these creatures to me together. All right, fair enough. It's possible if he's looking for tombstone trail creatures. Uh, and I think there's, uh, like, the Hot Hands one, he's saying, I, well, I think that comes from, like, Old Smokey, so I think we might already have one of those. Um, and whatever the other one is, the Trumpy. Uh, I don't know specifically what that one is. I don't really know what the Wispula is either. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and see if there's any other bounties. Um, nope. Okay, we actually cleared them all. Did we do this last episode? I can't remember. I have three merit stamp cards. And I bought everything already, so I can't even get... I can't get anything anyway. Um, okay. Let's see the errand board real quick. 
And then we'll keep on keeping on. Oh, there it. Nope. Okay. Never mind. Nothing. All right. Uh, we are gonna go to Al Mamun because we need to go see the Khalifa. Uh, we need to find the one. All right. Let me hold still and see if that comes up. Uh, collect some holy wood from the Khalifa at Al Mamun. Fair enough. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, use our travel spell. Head to Al Mamun. Where more, I'm sure, more reading awaits me. That teaches me to record Nino Kuni when I'm very, very tired. Finally, a town with some music in it. Uh, also, I don't know if I'm going to get into battles or anything like that, but Swain and Esther don't really have any MP. I need to, at some point, rest up. Well, let's just go talk to see what the uh, the Khalifa wants. Hey, Great Sage, can we actually talk to you? Shadar hides himself away in the far north of the continent of Onomnia, beyond a fetid swamp cloaked in a foul miasma. Sadly, the one instrument capable of lifting the Paul pale that's not pale Paul lives now only in legend. Okay. Thanks, bud. <laughs> you don't want to say hi to your daughter or anything like that? Watch the Khalifa be brokenhearted again and these guys not let us through. Okay, or not. That's fine. <laughs> ah, here we go. It's nice to see you again, your Mujesty. I say, you have returned? Now tell me, boy, have you located that, that handsome young man in the picture we so generously gave you? We had. Yes, we found him, your Mujesty. And now Prince Marcassin, uh, Cassin's back to his old self. That picture of yours came in proper useful in the end, your Mujesty. Even if you did only have it because you had a crush on the poor lad. Hmm, <laughs> We are most pleased to hear that you're, you accomplished your aims. But when, uh, what brings you back to us, pray tell? Um, your Mujesty, have you heard of the Clarion? Indeed, we have. Are we to take it you that you require the aforementioned, aforementioned uh, instrument? Is the time finally at hand? That's right, your majesty. We need it to cross the miasma marshes. Abul, you heard the young man. Fetch you know what this instant. Y yes, most bountiful bovinity. Bovinity? I present to you the wow. holy wood. Wow, that is some holy wood. <laughs> Sparkly, glowing, radiant. <laughs> Guard that wood with your lives, won't you now? Who can say how long it will take for another branch like that to grow? Gee, thanks, your majesty. This means we can do battle with Shadar. So you really do intend to face him. Tell us, are you familiar with the events of the Wizard Wars? Yes, your majesty. I heard something about them. The whole world was at war, wasn't it? It was a uh, it was a most protracted and bloody affair. And at the end of it, only three kingdoms remained: Almamun, Dingdongdel, and Hamlin. The three ruling families vowed then to keep the peace, and the Clarion served to symbolize their sacred pledge. But when the shadow of the Dark Jin fell across the world, our three kingdoms were driven into a simply frightful series of disputes. In retrospect, it is most unfortunately unfortunate that we did not join forces and make a new clarion back then. Join forces, your majesty. That's right, boy. Now, if we recall correctly, you have already visited each of the three kingdoms. That's right, your majesty. We're close personal friends with the big erm um, cheeses in every town and kingdom. Hmm <laughs> It amuses us to think that a dear little boy should be the uh, the one to mend the bridges between our kingdoms. Uh, thanks, your majesty. Yes, thanks, your majesty. We'd love to stay in chat, but this clarion won't make itself. Shall we head over to the next kingdom? Yes, it's time to go to Ding Dong Dell and see King Tom. 
Oh, nice. All right. See you later. Actually, just in case. Oh man, I might have to stand a little far away to get a a good uh a good uh sc screenshot. Sorry, I'm not. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's head over to Ding Dong Dell. At some point, I feel like Shadar is gonna pick up on what we're doing. Try to stop us. Especially now that we got the the holy wood. All right, Ding Dong Dell. Actually. Yeah, let's go in Ding Dong Dell. I thought that I, per like the other quests that we've gone on in this game, I felt like that would have been a little bit harder than it actually was. They were just like, uh, we're in search of the Holy Wood, and then we just got the Holy Wood. They didn't go. They didn't give us like an excuse not to give us the Holy Wood. They just gave it up. It's very not. Not how this game usually works. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I wonder if the lack of bounties is because we are like reaching an end game. Wouldn't that be something? What if we just What I don't even know what to do. What if we reach the end game? I guess I have to move on to Nino Kuni 2, which came out not too long ago. Ooh, it's kind of a relief not not having to like do extra work <laughs> to get oh no oh they're stopping me at the gates shoot so off to see the cat king is it ah uh, this place really takes me back it was the first time we visited together wasn't it listen i'm sure you're enjoying your trip down memory lane but haven't we got business to be taken care of i hate to say it but swain's right we need to complete the clarion and that means getting this holy wood Huh? But, but how? What's the matter? Don't tell, tell me you've gone and dropped the flipping thing. No, no, I didn't drop it. I mean, I had it just a second ago. I'm sure I did. Oh my gosh. I spoke too soon. I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. We just go get the holy wood. Then we go to Ding Dong Dell. They make the clarion. No. Of course Esther's gonna lose the holy wood. Uh, so you're saying someone made off with it while you weren't looking? Well, you know a thing or two about that, wouldn't you? There you go, bringing up ancient history again. Look, you're the one who lost it. Don't go blaming me. I had all this time, I swear. Stop fighting, both of you. If it's missing, we have to find it and fast. Well, it couldn't have gone very far, because I traveled right from Alma Moon to here. So, like, it must have been lost anywhere across the, uh... Like, somewhere in Ding Dong Dell. Um... Have to find it and fight uh, fast. Uh, you're not wrong, Ali boy. Let's ask some of the folks around by here if they've seen it. Really? Really? <laughs> I don't want to do that. All right, whatever. It looks like there's a there's a star out there, so let's just go. Let's just go to the star, I guess. Uh, how far do we have to go? Oh, like to the, uh, okay. To the weapon shop. The Calder Master. Woo! Oh, I can't jump down the stairs? What good is this jump button? Can jump down those stairs. Fair enough. Alright, Calder Master, have you seen... The Holy Wood, even though we haven't walked by here at all, we literally took 10 seconds to walk down the road. Wait a minute. Where'd you get this wood, bud? Looking pretty suspicious there. Where'd you get it? <laughs> All right, maybe this will be the thumbnail. Hang on. Let me see if I can get this in here. The Wood Thief. The Holy Wood Thief. Boom. All right. Buddy, where'd you get that wood? Ah, hello there. Oh, dear. You look quite worked up. What's ruffled your feathers? Some dirty rotten thieves pinched our... Hold on a minute. Look over by there, Ollie boy. 
It's the holy wood. Where did you find it, sir? Ah, uh, is that what's caught your eye? Pretty, isn't it? I thought it would make a rather nice window display. A flipping window display? That's holy wood, that is. Don't tell me you were planning on wedging weapons in it. You were, weren't you? Mr. Caldermaster, sir, that holy wood is ours. It was stolen from us. Stolen? But I've only just bought it, and for a price that would make your eyes water. Don't tell me I've been rooked. Afraid so, mun. Whoever sold it to you must have pinched it from us, eh? Ain't it? Gah. I should have been more cautious. I did wonder how he could have come by such a valuable item. So you know the person who sold it to you, sir? It was that young mouse. The one with the glasses. Oh, no. The guy we got bark ship from? He's always coming around here hawking his wares. Glasses? But I never thought he was a thief. No, just beak. Just beak, because you say he's guilty. That doesn't make it true. If you want me to believe you, you're going to have to bring me some proof. But, but how can we do that? There's only one thing for it, Ollie Boy. We're going to have to catch that mouse and get him to confess. Oh, okay. Let's do that. We'll get you your proof, sir. Please do it quickly. I'd hate to think I was handling stolen goods. Well, yeah, you are. I told you. You just chose not to believe that you're... That you have stolen goods. It's right there. I have a receipt. <laughs> um... Oh, you know what? We could go to Al Mamoon and get the Khalifa to come here. Just shove her in the, uh... Shove her in the door there. Maybe the rat person isn't the guy that I'm thinking about. Oh, what is this person? Hello. There are forging, uh, foraging spots dotted all over the world. You should investigate them whenever the opportunity presents itself. Wait, are you not the person I'm talking to? Um... I guess I gotta go up. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that lady. Maybe the rat isn't who I think it was. Didn't we face off against a giant rat here at one point? Like 130 episodes ago? Eek! Leave me alone! Oi, you little pipsqueak. You're the one that tried to make a quick gilder selling the Hollywood, aren't you? Squeak, how'd you find me? Er, I'll I'll never do it again. Honest. Never ever. Or my name's not Pip. Pip, but why? What made you start stealing? I needed the money, didn't I? Not that it's any of your blinking business. How am I going to make my dreams come true if I'm broke, eh? Your dreams? That's no excuse for stealing. What kind of dreams do you have, anyway? Nice try, dum-dum. <laughs> you think I'm telling you? I know you'll just laugh at me for being a silly little mouse with big ideas. Crikey, bit blooming touchy, ain't we? There's no need to be so flippin' defensive, mouse face. Well, we did just corner him, to be fair. Anyway, let's collar the little runt and head back to the quartermaster's store, shall we? Wait a second, you guys. Is it just me, or does Pip really remind you of somebody? Hmm? You mean he might share a soul with somebody back in Motorville? I think so, but I'm not so sure who it could be. Um, Pip, would you mind telling us a little bit more about your dream? We won't laugh at you, I promise. Why should I? You can't tell me what to do. Why should I take orders from a big baby who sleeps with a stupid doll? What? What? Is that true, Oliver? No, no, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. Haha, <laughs> how grown up of you, but I bet you still drag it around with you everywhere in case you get scared at night, you big baby. I do not. I told you I don't sleep with a doll anymore. I stopped taking Mr. Drippy to bed almost a year a uh... Oh no. Oh. Haha, <laughs> haha. <laughs> now you've done it, dum dum. <laughs> you all heard him, didn't you? I bet your girlfriend's really impressed now. Stop being mean. She's not my aunt. And I don't sleep with the doll. Cut it out, will you? Just cut it out, Phil. Oh, it's Phil. Ah, did you just call him Phil? That mangy mouse's name is Pip. I, I'm sorry. It's just what he said. It sounded just like Phil when he's being mean. Blimey. Well, you know what that means. 
I don't know what you're on about. All I know is that you'll never catch me. Oh, see ya. This rotten rodent is starting to get on my nerves. He's not making things easy for us, is he? Uh, what are we going to do, Oliver? Well, it took me a while to work it out, but there's no mistake. He can be kind of mean and real stubborn, but he's still my best friend. I'm talking about Phil. Tidy, I think we've got our man. Just goes to show you. It just goes to show if you've got a big bully for a soulmate, you might just turn out to be a nasty piece of work too. Hmm, I get it. Something must be going on with his soulmate to have made this mouse turn to a life of crime. I feel kind of bad. It's been a while since I saw Phil. I hope he's okay. Let's go and see Philip in Motorville. Come on, Oliver. There's no time to waste. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going to go see Phil in uh, Motorville. Oh, can we open this now? Oh, right, right, right. Uh, okay, yeah, it has been a long time since we've seen Phil. Like, a, a hundred episodes ago at least, right? <laughs> Like, not since my, uh, mother passed away. Oh, what do we get? Shining scales. Fantastic. Uh, alright guys, well, I think that's where I'm gonna leave things off. Uh, a little bit of a, uh, a dialogue-heavy episode. Uh, hopefully the next episode I can read a little bit better. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please definitely drop a like and a comment below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure that so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.